Hi everyone, welcome to the next part of the tutorial reversing with HyperDVG. In the previous tutorial, we see basic HyperDVG concepts like events, actions. At last, we connect to a VMI mode debugging of the HyperDVG. In this uh, part, we're gonna explore more details about this debugger and we see more basic commands of how uh, we can use this debugger and we get a start with using the debugger by debugging in debugger mode. Uh, first, we start exploring symbols and symbol servers. Uh, we see some of the ba very, very basic uh, Windows internal concepts like process and third data structures and how we can find loaded modules. We also try to convert the symbols the, uh, the uh, and Microsoft symbols and regular program symbols, the C data types like building enumerations, making structures out of the symbols and dumping the headers. And then we start kernel and user debugging, uh, like we set up our user mode debugger and the kernel mode debugger. Then we start reading and modifying the virtual memory uh, registers and uh, we see how we can use the hyper DVG to disassemble codes and examining uh, memory like stack heaps and pools like uh, things like stack backtrace and mapping memory to structures and then we go through the breakpoints and we see uh, the different stepping mechanisms in hyperdg this one is really an important topic in hyperdg and it's how hyperdg is different in stepping mechanisms i will explain it Truly later, and uh, we have a hands on for starting with HyperDVG. Okay, uh, this part is about symbols and symbol servers. As you know, every binary uh, that, that are compiled with uh, a Microsoft compiler or uh, in also in other uh, operating systems, we have something like this, but for Microsoft and uh, but, most of the Windows binaries, we have PDB files. Uh, these PDB, PDB files are, uh, the, these PDB files uh, contain the debugging information like different uh, function names, different parameters, and uh, things that help us in debugging uh, without having the source code. As you probably know, WinDVG supports uh, symbols, and this is also true about uh, this is also true about uh, HyperDVG. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to set a symbol path. Uh, a symbol path contains a local path, uh, which will be say uh, which are, uh, all of our symbols are located there and we will provide a url uh, most of the times the microsoft symbol server url url which if a symbol is not available then the hyper dvg goes and download that uh, symbol from the microsoft save server so uh, the command for setting the symbol uh, server is that sim path uh, SRV star and uh, after that uh, we're gonna provide the local path and uh, separated by a star then uh, we uh, set the remote path let's see it in action actually I bring a hyper DVG uh, here as we compile it in the previous session so let me start running it in the host operating system uh, if I use the uh, <clears throat> dot sim path, uh, command it said that the symbol server is not configured. Please use dot help dot sim path for more information. So I exactly copy the same uh, command and. <laughs> And we have a command that simpass this is uh in the help of the hyper dvg we can use it if you have different uh symbol paths like uh i, I always uh save my symbols in this path but if you choose another path you can just change this path to your specific path uh, path and click enter 
after uh, that it says that the symbol server pass is configured and now we, sh we should use this uh, dot sim load command or dot sim reload command or dot sim download command to load the pdf files so what are these uh, 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 um, the meaning of these parameters to this command uh, for this purpose we go to the documentation docs that And you will find that sim command. Uh, this is completely described here. If you want to see uh, the table of the uh, table of the symbols, we use this command. If you want to load the PDF file or unload the PDF file. If you want to download a PDF file or reload, uh, this is also different. For example, uh, load command tries to load and parse PDF files based on the previous paid uh, built uh, symbol table. Uh, I will explain it later, uh, but for now, uh, if we didn't provide a symbol table, uh, we use the dot reload, which first uh, builds the symbol table and then loads the local symbol pass. Uh, that reload command won't uh, download uh, the symbols if they are not available. But if you use the the sim dot sim download uh, command, then it tries to first uh, search the local pass for the symbol, and if it's not available, then it downloads from the remote server. Uh, besides that, we have other options which are not really important for us in this stage, but you can see the examples where we used uh, did, uh, this uh, dot sim reload command. <laughs> uh, no, I don't have any other debuggy, so I just want to uh, use the symbols without connecting to the debuggy. And also, here I described. Uh, <laughs> the different uh, commands and purpose of each command. For example, if you want to just add your custom uh, symbol, you can use uh, that sim at uh, base uh, and you, can, you should uh, provide the base that it starts, uh, that the module starts loading from that address and after that a pass and a symbol pass to the PDF file. Uh, and also all of them are clear when we use it in a real debugging scenario the first thing that uh, we can uh, find uh, and uh, search is uh, a, actually a wildcard uh, kind of a string that you can provide that uh, it will show you every strings that start with this pattern like i want to see our uh, search for all the entity module uh, functions or uh, functions that are starting with x allocate uh, as you can see uh, ntx allocate pull with tag and nt allocate, allocate cache uh, cache aware uh, push lock or other uh, functions are starting with this pattern so we can have it and search for the symbols and find their corresponding addresses <laughs> 